Welcome back to my studio. Today I am starting on a new commission and it's on one of the ampersand cradled panels. It measures six inches by six inches and these are um, made by ampersand. I can get them at uh, dickblick.com or jerrysartorama.com. I think even Cheap Joe's has them. Um, anyway, it's a cradled panel made by ampersand and I paint on the back, in fact all of my paintings, I paint a square on the back with white acrylic to where I can put the title of the painting, the uh, code of authenticity number, and then sign it and then put my website on there. So say 20 years from now somebody inherits this, they will know that it's my painting, it directs them to my website, and then I've also put a wire on the back, so hanging wire. The sides have been painted black with, with black acrylic. And then I take blue painter's tape and I just tape off the sides so when I paint the front it keeps the sides clean. When I'm finished with the painting I can just pull that tape off and the sides are clean. The painting goes right up to that black edge and it looks very nice and neat. This does not have to be framed so it can just hang right on the wall and it's set to go. This piece is based on this painting and my collector has made some changes. She wants wisteria here, a purple doorway, black-eyed Susans here instead of the sunflowers. She wants pansies here and then a tile with the Aquarius water symbol on it instead of the rooster. So we're going to get started and we'll get to painting. I start out with a mixture of mud, and that is two parts of my ultramarine blue, plus one part of permanent alizarin crimson, and then I mix liquid with that, and that gives me a thin oil wash. And if you notice, I use Winton oil colors, and I really like these. Jack and I have used these for years. They're a great grade oil paint. It's also economical. You don't need to pay the extra for all the what they call quote professional colors. These work beautifully. Jack has done $60,000 portraits with these paints and they they last. They're light fast. There's absolutely no reason not to use these. I prefer them and there are a couple of colors that I do like to use. Uh, well, actually the only color on my regular palette is Thalo Blue. And the Thalo Blue that Grumbacher, Grumbacher makes is a little uh, more vibrant than the Thalo Blue that the Winton Oil color makes. So that I use that. And then there are some unusual colors like Severus Green and um, I'm trying to think of oh, uh, Thalo Turquoise Blue that I use in the Rembrandt colors, but other than that, I use the Wintons. Now, to get my doorway, I use a T-square, just balanced on top of the, the little panel. And this, this allows me to get my doorway straight. So get those lines established, then I take a little thinner on my tissue and clean that edge because if you don't that edge gets that paint builds up on it and it gets ragged and bumpy and then you can't make a good line so that's that's what I'm doing here okay so now I just start get my lintel over the doorway. This is Santa Fe. So this is your typical Santa Fe architecture. I don't want to make the angle of the wall straight to the bottom of the floor. I want it to have a little bit of a angle here so that you see this side of the, the doorway. And there's a little step here. 
Don't extend that all the way over because we have a flower pot there. And this I'm just establishing my basic plan on the panel. This gives me a guideline of the painting and what I want to do. I just indicate my flowers here. And using this thin oil wash, I can erase. And I did prime this panel with, a, with just white acrylic. It's a Liquitex Basics Acrylic Titanium White. And I just give it a, all of my canvases and panels, I coat with that. It makes the surface just a little bit slicker. And you can then erase very easily. Particularly on canvas, if you don't put that coating on there, the, the texture, even though the canvases I get are already primed, I like having that extra layer of primer because it just gives that little extra slickness that you can, again, you can erase. These are Black Eyed Susans in here. Her tile is going to go here. going to have the little, I can just brace my hand here to give me a little more stability. Now I'll do these more detailed when I get to it, but again that just gives me my, just here I'm just getting the basics down so that I will not forget my plan as I'm painting. And then our, we have wisteria draping down. here. Love wisteria trunks. They're really gnarled and just have so much character. And then the wisteria. That's basically what I do now. I come back and label my flowers so that I'll know exactly what I'm going to do. I've been known to get in the middle of painting and just totally forget and paint something that my collector has not asked for. And I have to go back and change it. So I'm going to erase that floor line out of here. Again, I just take some tissue with thinner, a little bit of thinner on there. I can just erase that line. bottom of my plants there. It's just my blueprint for the painting. It's going to be pansies. And up here is wisteria. I'm going to raise some of that out because the wisteria will cover over that corner and this will be wisteria. Again, I can just brace on my, my easel here. And there we go. So my basic plan is sketched up on the panel. I may make this a little more angled. Just give us a little more perspective. So I can also I can take a brush and kind of lift up that that wash. And I just dip it in thinner, make sure it's clean. And then I can just erase that line out.
I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please visit my blog. The link is in the description below. The address is also in the final frame of the video. And on the blog, I show the complete step-by-step step 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 process of this painting and all the others I do. That way, you can see the whole thing. I know so many times people will email me and say, oh, I want to see how this painting finishes. Well, if you just go to my blog, you can follow the entire process. So, thanks again. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. And happy painting!